Hey everybody, Shay here. Welcome back to another blind let's play of Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. Here we have Connor. I'm sucking on a halls again because my throat is destroyed from last night. And uh, it's sort of weird to give an intro when I got a halls. <laughs> Suck in my throat. Um, not stuck in my throat, <laughs> in my mouth. Okay, so without further ado, I'm, d I'm looking in the bottom uh, right there and I keep wondering what the heck that symbol is. It's an assassin symbol with the two marks on it. And I was like, what is that thing? Oh, okay, I get it now. It's that I have these guys uh, free. Both of them are free to take missions. My bad. So, uh, in any case, um, I can try to crank this guy up in, uh, like, if I were to put this guy on and this guy on, that's only 52%, though. Damn, I'm trying to scale them at this point. Uh, uh and also, like, do I need to do this? I feel like I, I'm going, I'm getting into that trap of, uh, uh, brotherhood or... You know, you know the games. <laughs> Was it Revelate? God, how do I forget if Revelation had this? <laughs> Alrighty. <laughs> Anyways, uh, they did. They did, sort of. But then I feel like I did it, and I was like, ah, what did I really get out of this? I don't remember. I don't remember if it was ever useful for this kind of grind, for the grinding time. Now, I'm playing anyway, so I might as well be doing this, but just just thoughts that come to mind. That's all. Stone No Fairy. We have a Templar associate by the name of Hugh Jackson. Hugh Jackson, not Jackman, okay, is marching with the Patriots. His intentions are not clear. Ride out to the outskirts of Charleston. Find out what you can and deal with him if necessary. Um, this is a quick one, so uh, that's good enough for me. It looks like you'll be able to handle this one alone and get yourself, uh, get yourself some skill levels here. I started something with this guy. Where did I start? Mm, this one, maybe? War has come to Rhode Island. The revolution will touch Rhode Island's territory as well. The War Council has, however, left the colony to its own defenses, leaving the 1st Rhode Island Regiment to protect the city of Newport and Aquidneck uh, Island. Give, him, uh, give them your support. So we will. 100% success. That's a one star. I don't want to do this. Let's find him something else to do. Two stars. Quiet Connecticut. Midst of debates regarding the revolution, much like Maryland and Delaware, blend in with the crowds. The city's representative are going to be Templar and Presidents. Okay, grab this one. Uh, that feels like a potential failure, so sure. Okay, so wow, that was uh, beginning derailment. Now, what do I want to do for this episode? I want to focus. I do, and I have, I already have, oh, I, as I say this, I know that I have these. Yeah, I'm going to start them now. That way, if people don't want to listen to this, they can move forward, and then we'll start the sequences. Paul Revere House. Paul Revere lived in his house with his family from 1770 until about 1800, with some notable exceptions, such as when he had to lie low because he'd warned the countryside of the British march on Lexington and Concord. What with the shortage of firewood in 1776 and the loyalist insistence on getting back at anyone who defied them in the past, you'd think this wooden house might have been torn down too, but it wasn't. This might be because Revere left his eldest son, also named Paul, in town to watch over the estate. In any event, the building is still around today. One of Revere's descendants bought it in 1905 and turned it into a museum. It's now the oldest building in Boston. In fact, it was already 90 years old when Revere bought it. Colonial architecture is apparently superior to what your average, uh, between that of your average McMansion. Now hold on a second because, okay, you know what? I changed my mind. There's all the, uh, all the stuff I got from the frontier. So let's do some frontier reading um, uh, in our breaks. Changing all my minds. Before the five minute mark, I changed all my minds. Do I want to change my outfit would be my next question. Do I want to go to the store real quick and change my outfit? Mm. No, let's start the main mission before I distract myself again with more street fights that I don't need to be doing, but I can't help myself. Um, so I could take a horse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was, no, that's it. That's never going to get old. That's just going to keep happening. It just is what it is. I thought that kid was walking back backwards too. It's like it's bad enough there's one backwards walker in this town. We don't need a whole lineage of them. You know what I'm saying? Um. Okay, so. Right here? Yeah. Ah, Connor! What a relief! You came! It's probably been a month. <laughs> Two months? Allow months. me to... I'm sorry. <clears throat> to introduce you to William Dawes, 
and Robert Newman. Your letter said John Pitcairn was here. Aye. He's readying an assault on Lexington, where Adams and Hancock have taken shelter. After that, he will march on Concord, hoping to destroy our weapons and supplies. You must help us. Only tell me where to find him, and I will put a stop to this. He has dozens, if not hundreds, of soldiers at his command. You cannot hope to match him by uh, yourself. No, I can't. I've actually proven that. But fear not. Town. But you will not We're have good. to. They seem to be cloning them. We have an entire army of our own, merely I awaiting the order an to take army up arms. On my own. Then you must call upon them. Indeed. You and I. Don't touch me. Cross the Charles River and rouse the boys. William, I need you to take the overland route and do the same. Robert, I need you up in Christchurch. Light the signal. Two lanterns, mm. our enemy comes by sea. Mm. Can't go wrong at all. No time for dawdling, my friend. We Don't have lives me. to save. Come on. <laughs> He's not kidding. <laughs> Why do they hang in that banner sideways? It doesn't make any sense. Seen it around town like that too. It's silly. Ha! Huh. They've only left a single horse. We'll have to ride together. Ah! You take the reins, I'll navigate. Quickly, Connor, get on the horse! Okay, so you don't like him. Got it. I'll guide you towards those conflict. we need to alert. Incorrect. Follow my directions, and we'll be done in no time. We'll do. Let's let's trigger as much open conflict as possible. Where do you want to start? Press L B to ask for directions. Wait, what? This Wait. way, Connor. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gee. Well, that's not going to distract anyone at all. I believe we are on course. So stay on the road. Is what you mean? Oh, we got some more entries in the database that is actually relevant to the uh, plot line. Not uh, six plus hours of frontier wandering. Nearly there, Connor. Almost there, Connor. Bro, we have a problem. Do you want open conflict? Almost, oh. almost there, Connor. Redcoats. What are they doing here? Oh, you need that. To the left, there must Connor. Be scouts. See, told you just relax. be careful, Connor. We mustn't let them warn the others. I see. So, do you want to go? Oh, god, off road. Oh, too late. Well, then, settles that. Where do we this go? This way, Connor. Wait, up the hill. Okay. Oh, so. all right. Well, we're gonna be getting shot. I believe shot we at. are on course. No, you're now off the horse, of course. Do you want me to kill them all, or do you want to just restart the mission? Uh, because you're gonna die. You could possibly die. Okay, you know what? I'll come save you. Here. Please get off my man. Okay, well, I, 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 part of me wants to start over because I don't know what the hell's going on. Um, and also, let me save my man. Hold on. I gotta just turn around fast enough just to get a quick... There we go. Oh, come on. I just wanna get a quick auto kill in here. Do you mind? There we go. Oh, did I just kill... There you go. Okay, here we go. No. No, no, I got him. I got him. That's it. Fine. Oh, come on. Just stab him in the back while he's fighting, bro. You don't remember that? I'm just gonna restart this. I feel like I have to restart this. What are you doing? I'm fighting. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Is our horse okay? Bastards. Wait, what the hell is that beside me? Oh. Oh, there, never mind. Ah, oh, the anime sometimes throws crap at me. We will never finish in time if we go by foot. What are you doing? We're, we're not. We're getting on a horse. Yes! This is it! This is the way! Perfect. Do you want to alert some more men so we can get a detour? To the left, Connor! That's the right. Might be safer if we are approach the houses on foot. Are you kidding me right foot. now? Oh, now you want to go on foot. I say nay, sir. Wait. Move, bitch. Wait, why are you pointing in that direction? What the fuck is going on here right now? 
Man? I, I, I don't understand. Listen. Alright, what a start of, a, of an episode. I'm not feeling confident here. About the predicament. This guy's gonna get shot. Okay. There we go. No, I got him. Bro, just get back on the horse or something. Make sure the horse is safe. I got this. Excuse me. There we go. Are you dead? Oh yeah, no, you're definitely dead. Okay, do not open... Uh, open. Con got it. So, uh, where am I going? Find the first militia house. I don't know, this one? You seem to want to stop here. Do some shenanigans. Which one? Are you sure? I, I don't trust the way you're pointing anymore. This, this is one? it. You okay, have got perfect. the right place. <laughs> what a disaster. I swear to God, I'm not, I don't mean it. Let everyone mean know that the regulars marked for Lexington and Concord. The British are coming. I, well, back in the saddle, my friend. We have more people to warn. Well, power of beer. Wow. I mean, I'm not, I don't know all the history, right? But it's yes. Like I just, this is it. This is the way. That, that's, that's how yes, is this important. is exactly where we need to be. This guy warned everybody or something? So why does my guy hate him? Why is Connor like, why is he bothered by him? I'm not sure. Good horse. Keep going! See, don't point like that or I'm going to go directly in that direction. Like, okay, let's go in Left. that direction. No, nope, you're going straight. That's straight. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Do you want to run into those dudes? No? Here. There you go. To Over the now. left, Connor! That is actually left. Congratulations. I believe we are on course. Are you sure? Because Be on the lookout for redcoats. While we pass them, I'm going to go straight the way you Keep told me. Keep going! I will go straight, right into the ocean. Keep going! To the lake. We are now in the lake. The horse does not approve. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Perfect. We will never finish in time if we go by foot. What are you talking about? Are we doing that? Oh, God damn it. Green circle. Remember the green circle? No, relax. What What are you doing? Oh, it's because the guy wasn't on the horse? Probably. We are now in the green zone. Let us continue the search on foot. Okay, let's go on foot. Right here? Nope. Uh, that horse better be there when I get back. Uh, Careful, here. Connor. There might be other scouts around. Uh, nope, not here. Okay. Let's aim for the middle. Uh, this one right here. Uh, this one here. Nope. Great. Can you climb, bro? Wait a minute. Right there? I'm gonna say yes. Why did we... Why'd you tell me to get off on foot? Bro, we, we could have still, like... What's this house? Yeah, no problem. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, do I have to do this? My bad. Oh, Eagle Vision. Help me, Eagle Vision. Did I find it? Right there. Yeah. No, that's people. Start so walking all over your crap. Right here, this door. Glowing door. Yes. This is it. You have got the right place. You can thank Eagle Vision for that. Now, where's the horse? Spread the, the word. You just say, the regulars are coming out. At Moving once! <laughs> um, which Keep way? Keep going! Straight, you got it. Wait, stand. Why would I stand? Okay. Okay, don't do that. No, come back. Is come everything back, alright, my friend? Uh, no, I just wanted to stand on my horse. What did you want to do? Follow the directions again to alert the remaining militias. Okay. To alert the remaining. Yes, this is exactly where we need to be. Yes, this is exactly where Your... we need to be. Do that again. Turn right. Okay. <laughs> Congratulations. So that achieved nothing. There's a militia right there, though. Follow the directions. Go right, Connor. Got it. Hello, everybody. How you doing? Yeah? There I'd be you go. safer if we approach the houses on foot. No, we are definitely not. We are definitely not doing that right now. Uh, is it this one? Probably. Tell you what, we're gonna go over here and then here. There we go. 
Well, awesome. This is it. You have got the right place. Problems? The regulars are coming. Here. We're here. Yeah. Get them. Incorrect. I'll kill you all. We've got oh, to shake happened? those oh, red no. coats. We're moving. Do you want to tell me where? Does it matter? No? No problem. Let's not go that way. We need okay. to lose them. Uh, is that water? No, what are you doing? Oh, this is shot. Well, I suppose that's one way to deal with the situation. Kill them all, you mean? I mean, I'm okay with it. Here, let's get the sword out. Let's do this. Hope you survive it. I mean, I'll try to work my way towards you. Okay, you know what? I'm a little rusty. My throat's hurting. Okay, it's fine. Whoa. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Bam. Okay, back into it then. Back into it then. Damn, son. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Move. Damn it. Damn it. Just let me get... Oh, he's dying. Oh, shit. I can't see my guy, but... Just get this guy off him, man. Move. And then this guy. Whoop. Whoop. Pop. And he's dead. There we go. Hold up. Hold up. Wait, I can't use that power? What are you talking about? Lucky counter. What are you talking about right now? Break defense, bold, attack, special attack. What are you talking about? How about that? That was Does that much special too attack? close for comfort. Shit. Let us take care to avoid any further surprises. I tried surprises. all the moves, man. We will never finish in time if we go by foot. Reach Prescott's location in a given time. Yeah, no, we've lost this. We absolutely have. Where's the horse? Yeah, done. Oh, well, whatever. Optional. Whatever. You got all the time in the world. Come on, bro. Wow. Cons considering, like, with, like, super... My eyes were all blurry. It was, like, super late. To the right, Connor! Yesterday, to the I right. was, like, destroying the game. And all of a sudden, I, uh... I'm freaking sloppy, man. I don't know what happened. I don't think I'm fighting you guys. It's possible. I mean, that one guy needed a special attack. To, I couldn't do anything. Maybe I was doing something wrong. I don't know. Oops. This way, Connor! Um, uh, well, we're rock climbing right now. I'm pretty sure my horse doesn't want to do Assassin's Creed moves on branches and stuff like that. So, let's get back to, to the, the left, way. Connor! Nope, that's straight. That's straight. Escape the red coat. Well, they're all dead, right? They're all dead. Keep going! This one? Nope. Here we are. Well, we are. Best to continue on foot. <laughs> Damn this fucking guy, man. Up here, I would imagine. What happened? This is it. You have got the right place. Quickly. Too late. I'm impatient. <laughs> Watch me cancel. I get it all the do this all over again even though it's behind me that would have been amazing where the devil is he are you sure we are in the right place oh sure i'm sure oh prescott evening gents listen the regulars are out you need to rally your men and uh put on some trousers at once Okay. All optional quests completed perfectly. First try. Uh, where are we going, bro? Reach the Hancock Clark House in Lexington. Okay. Uh, this way? Come on, horse. Work with me, bro. Thank you. So much wildlife I'm leaving behind. So many skin, skins to sell. But why am I selling? Well, I don't know. 
buy stuff? I don't know. Welcome to Lexington, Connor. Now let's find Hancock and Adams. Hmm. No sign of Dawes. You know I hope he's all right. Are you in an animus as well? Do you have someone talking to you? And exit. Paul, Connor. Good to see you. You need to leave. The Redcoats are coming. Aye, so Williams told us. Let them conduct their little search. They'll find nothing. You don't understand. Pitcairn intends to kill you. I'm afraid it's true. I suppose we have no choice then but to go. What of you three? Dawes and I will continue on to Concord. Connor, it's best you stay here and help our man John Parker hold the town. It'll give us time to spread the word. Let's kill everything. Let's get back into the groove of things, man. Midnight ride. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Animus died. Okay, okay. We need to uh, probably take an animus break at this point. I know it's only a few minutes in, but I'm seeing a lot of things pop up. I just want to get some contextual knowledge around what's going on. Uh, let's not do that. Okay, Animus. Start at the top. Recent entries. Paul Revere's ride. The, rise, uh, the raising of the militia, the recent events, as tumultuous and striking as they are, cannot have earned victorious wreaths had it not been for the effort of some few riders that gave warning to the towns and raised the Minutemen to their duty. These riders, chief among them, Mr. Paul Revere and Mr. William Dawes, were sent out by Dr. Joseph Warren, who had come into the knowledge by sources undisclosed that a regiment of soldiers was to march that night to Lexington, there to arrest leaders of the Sons of Liberty who were there spending the night. The regulars were there, uh, were then to continue to Concord to secure various arms there hidden about, including at Barrett's, far Barrett's farm. Dr. Warren ha uh, could not risk that his message would fail to be delivered among the townships. He cleverly made fast certain of his aim sending his message to diverse by diverse routes uh, at once to begin mr dawes left boston by way of boston neck using guile to pass the roadblock and well, just killed everything and continue through roxbury in a circuitous route old language great soon after mr revere entreated captain pulling to light lamps in the tower of north of old north this being the signal to charlestown that the regulars were on the march. Revere himself took the chance of a life to row beneath the prow of HMS Somerset to arrive at Charlestown himself and make the ride to Lexington directly. Revere altered his route to evade the night patrols along the way. In the event, both riders happily arrived at Lexington to warn Samuel Adams and John Hancock of the approaching regulars. Joined by Samuel Prescott, Revere and Dawes rode on to Concord, but were confronted by soldiers on that road. Dawes lost his horse and made his way back to Lexington on foot. Prescott led his horse to a daring leap of a wall and continued on the Concord. Uh, continued on to Concord to raise the Minutemen. Revere was captured by the patrol and threatened with his life. He only secured his freedom with when the soldiers heard fire from the hills of Concord and ran to join the battle. But Re Mr. Revere. Uh, but Mr. Revere's adventure was not yet complete. Upon return to Lexington, he was astonished to find John Hancock at the place preparing to fight the oncoming soldiers as an officer. It fell to Revere to sway Mr. Hancock that his place was not in the field. Mr. Hancock and Mr. Adams then removed themselves to a safer place, but failed to bring along a chest full of congressional papers of which the discovery by the soldiers would cause difficulties. Mr. Revere returned to take possession of these papers before the soldiers arrived at the Lexington Green. Whew. John Hancock was a Whig leader in Boston prior to the Revolutionary War and went on to be president of the Second Continental Congress, which was responsible for creating the Declaration of Independence. All very impressive. But most impressive of all was the name would live on to be slang for signature now that's a legacy one day i imagine sean 
will be used by children to describe a world wary sneer. I can betray him. Hancock was born in Massachusetts, the son of a reverend, but his father died when he was young, and John was sent to live with his uncle in Beacon Hill. Thomas Hancock ran a prosperous shipping business, which John inherited when his uncle died in 1764. Hancock was a noted businessman and probably made at least some of his money smuggling, which he was tried for in 1768, though he was never convicted. He joined the Patriot uh, cause after the Stampa Acts were imposed in 1764. He went on to be one of the instigators of the Tea Party. In fact, after the revolution began, he was such a well-known rebel that when the Boston governor offered clemency to anyone who would lay down their arms, Hancock was specifically left out of the deal. Hancock's probably best known for signing the Declaration of Independence. His signature was the first on the document, possibly because of that, and because, and possibly because Hancock was known for being extravagant. His name is signed with a flourish, written larger than any of the others. So now in America, your signature is sometimes referred to as your John Hancock. I needn't explain why to some people that sounds a little bit dirty, but I will. It sounds like a penis reference. Samuel Prescott. When Paul Revere and William Doves left Lexington on their way to Concord, they were joined by Samuel Prescott, a young doctor from Concord. Prescott was a member of the Sons of Liberty, a natural choice for an anti-British nighttime ride. Prescott was in Lexington the night to visit his fiancée. I assume that's who we saw run off. He was intending to return home late, a happy coincidence for Revere and Doves. Prescott knew the area well. So when the three men were stopped by British troops, it was Prescott who managed to elude his pursuers and reach Concord to sound the alarm. Here's the strange thing. After that night, well, Prescott sort of disappears. I have a record that he may have died as a British prisoner in Halifax in 1777, but it's far from clear cut. I, ch I suppose he could have left Boston with the British on evacuation day, but how he was captured and when, I have no idea. And those are four words I never thought I'd say. Paul Revere's Ride On the night before the battles of Lexington and Concord, Paul Revere and William Dawes left Boston to warn the countryside that the British regulars were on the march. In particular, they wanted to warn John Hancock and Samuel Adams what, that the regulars intended to arrest them. Revere left Boston on uh, by, boat, by boat across the Charles River, taking the road across Charlestown Peninsula. Dawes took the larger land route across Boston Neck. Revere arrived in Lexington first, but Dawes wasn't far behind. Once they discovered their warning to uh, delivered their warning to Hancock and Adams in Lexington, Dawes, and Revere, decided to continue to Concord to warn the people there of the coming raid. They joined up with Samuel Prescott, who was visiting his fiance in Lexington. Prescott lived in Concord and so knew the area well. Road trip. Three men were halfway to Concord when they stopped by when they were stopped by British patrol. Revere was captured, but Dawes and Prescott broke away. Dawes lost his horse and hid in a bar for, barn for several hours before sneaking back to Lexington, but Prescott reached Concord to sound the alarm. Good thing they had him tag along. Years later, Henry Woods Wadsworth Longfellow would write a poem about the event, which rolled all of the riders into one, Paul Revere, which is why everyone knows his name and why Revere is so revered. Robert Newman Robert Newman was the sexton of... Christ Church, known today as Old North Church, and a personal friend of Paul Revere's, it was Newman who hung the lanterns from the church steeple to warn riders of Charlestown that British were marching on Lexington and Concord, two lanterns indicating that the British were traveling by sea. And because it's a pet peeve of mine, you may have heard that Newman put up the lanterns to warn Revere about the British approach. It's one of those historical details everyone seems to get wrong. Revere already knew about the raid, and in fact had been the one to pass the knowledge on the Newman, the lanterns, were meant as a warning to lookouts in Charlestown, a backup in case Revere was caught before he managed to leave town. Please learn this so you can impress girls on first dates, as I do, though they often seem so overwhelmed by it that <laughs> they rarely call again. That's the power of knowledge, and it's dangerous. Newman had some difficulty with his clandestine plan, though. His family home was serving as a boarding house and several British officers were staying there. Newman managed to elude them by saying he was tired, going to bed, and, escaped, and escaping out a side window like something out of a cartoon. His friend, 
John Pulling helped him get the lanterns to the top of the tower, while a third man guarded the church door. Newman was later questioned about his actions that night, possibly because a 20-something announcing he's going to bed early is inherently suspicious, but he talked his way out of arrest and fled Boston. When Newman returned to the city, he went back to his old job as church sexton. There's evidence he took money to show tourists around the church crypt, including displaying the body of John Pitcairn which might have something to do with, new, with Newman being replaced by a new sexton in 17, uh, 1788. William Dawes Jr. He was born a Boston revolutionary and one of the riders sent out to warn Lexington and Concord that their British regulars were on their way in the night of April 18, 1775. The other rider was, of course, Paul Revere. Revere took the road across the water of Charleston. A lot of repetition going on here. Dawes was a tanner by trade. These days he would make a fortune in new jersey the amount of tanning that goes on there <laughs> nice and while he wasn't as politically active as revere he did wear a homespun suit to his wedding now i know that doesn't sound intensely radical but at the time it was quite a statement at the time the rebels were trying to enforce boycotts of british products like cloth and encouraging people to buy american by advertising his suit was locally made, Dawes was putting himself firmly on the Patriot side of the equation. He might as well have worn a bowler hat and a mask with the king's face on. Though that would have been a weird that would have been weird at a wedding. Paul Revere's house, Duncan Little. Duncan Little was originally from Ireland, the youngest son of a large family, which is confusing seeing as they were the little family. He entered the priesthood at a young age and was sent to Africa as a missionary in 1756. Little spent several years in Africa, but in 1760 he returned to Ireland, leaving the priesthood entirely. I'd tell you why, but it seems that information has locked behind a wall at the Vatican, and I'm not hacking into the records today as they seem to have changed their password from We Love Pope again. The next information I have about him is a passenger on a ship to Boston in 1763 from his letters. It seems his family more or less drove him away f over his split with the Catholic Church, blood being thicker than water and all of that. Little settled in Boston's North End, where he gained a reputation as a good mediator, fair, and less expensive than going before a local ju ju judiciary. When he wasn't spending time at the local pub, he was helping people to solve their problems, generally by taking them down from talking them down from a fight, which seems to be all that really happened in Boston in those days. And by those days, I mean anything up to the present day. Little was the first person uh, was the first person people called when there was a scuffle, and his usual table at the King's Horse Tavern was known locally as Little's Court, a moniker the British cracked down on in 1770 because we like to ruin everyone's fun. The American Sea Monster, Boone. I'm not one for sailing, but I know it's out there. Some call it a crack, and others say it's a sea monster. So he told us that at the table, searching for the beast, that's a guarantee I can give you, but it's a riddle that needs solving. Connor, people across Boston spoke of seeing the monster. Reports varied in the details, but most agreed that it was long and black and only appeared in the presence of an old man. Turns out the creature was the old man himself. Drive, diving in the water with a contraption that allowed him to breathe while submerged, the machine itself was as startling as any monster, but it poses no dangers to ships. We got the beaver. Wait, I'm missing some entries here, man. We got the beaver here. I think everything is weak to poison darts. They're alive and they're animals and they don't like poison. Use a snare. I know, just use your assassin blades. Just charge up on them. They're not fast and stab them in the back. And there's usually packs of them. I don't know what these the, the point of hunting is in this game. I'm sorry, I said it. I'm going to be blunt. <laughs> Several, including it, it doesn't make any sense. There's no point. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Frontier, uh, Fort Duquesne. I've read this. Call me crazy. Fort Duquesne remained under the front. What the? I didn't. I think it was somewhere else. I suppose. This fort sits at the injunction of the Al uh, Alagni. Is this the one with the trees? 
not think so. Anyways, uh, Allegheny and Monongala rivers, essentially the beginning of the Ohio River in 1754. The French and British governments were fighting over the controlled, uh, over who controlled the territory in the area. Who, when settlers from Virginia began to build the fort, French Canadian forces chased them out, which is weird because Canadians are usually so polite. Anyway, they finished the fort, which was nice of them, and named it after the then governor of New France, the Marquis Duquesne, which was wonderfully thoughtful. In response, the British colonial government sent George Washington to retake the fort at the Battle of North of Fort Necessity, and then Edward Braddock, the Braddock expedition. Both attempts failed miserably. Each I've read this, man. I caught, I've read this. I, fort Duquesne remained under French control until 1758, when the French troops abandoned and burned it. The British moved in and rebuilt it, naming the new construction fort pit okay well that is new information it's probably okay it was a different entry maybe i don't know repetition the location of the modern day pittsburgh fort pit huh. which makes me think maybe they shouldn't have bothered but wasn't it like like someone's name was also like the, the for something called something pit something pit pit remember there being some other joke there or a coincidence or possibly not don't know the details i are you sure why do i feel like i should have had more like, for example, where's the Headless Horseman? Did I get an update on that? I didn't. Oh, hold on. Was it like a story? Like, stories or something? Nope. Pocket Burrows? No. No? Are you sure? Frontier? I guess not. Okay. Well, Boston. I bet. Oh, people. What the? Why are you in here? Didn't I go to all? What? Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone was a hunter and trapper who, through skill and luck, went on to become a near-mythic figure in stories about the American frontier. Boone was born in Pennsylvania, but moved with his family to North Carolina in 1752. He traveled to the frontier frequently on hunting and trapping expeditions across the modern-day North Carolina, Florida, and into Kentucky. The list goes on, but I'll stop it there because it's just a list of places and that could be quite tedious. <laughs> Boone is sometimes credited with discovering Kentucky, which is ridiculous, as I'm fairly sure someone else must have seen it once, but he did have a major role in its colonization by Europeans in 1773. Boone headed for the interior of Kentucky with a group of settlers with the intention of starting a town. Now, the Kentucky interior had technically been ceded to the British after the Treaty of Stanwix, but not all of the indigenous residents agreed with the treaty uh, or the inclusion onto their traditional lands. Boone's group hadn't gone far when the party was attacked. Boone's son was captured and tortured to death, and the colonists and the colonists left. However, Boone went back in 1775 when he was hired by the Transylvania Company to blaze a trail to the interior known as the Wilderness Trail. Boone settled in the area, founded the town of Boonesboro, arrogant, which he later helped to save from attack by Shawnee warriors in the opening years of the Revolution. Boone was made famous in his later years, not so much by his adventures, though he had many, which I'm sure he'll tell you about, but by books written about his life, some of which contained, let's just call them historical inaccuracies. The one where he wrestled a 60-foot manfish brings to mind. In reality, Boone wasn't one of the one to embellish his own his experiences, which may be why people felt the need to do it for him. Nah. Okay, and we... Did I have two in here? It's getting long. No. We have groups. Who do we have? We have the Frontiersman. Got Boone again. Actually an explorer and hunter with a knack for talking himself out of trouble. Imagine friends... Wait. I saw my brain. Was I in repetition mode again? I wouldn't mind hearing them from the primary source myself. Later authors were known for adding ridiculous embellishments like the one about Boone killing a bear with his bare hands or swinging through the forest on vines or one where he modified a silver sports car to travel back in time and ended up kissing his mom. Wait, these are other movies. That's Tarzan. That's Back to the Future. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Though that might have been something else. Boone and his friends travel all over the frontier so they'll be able to tell you if there's any news you should know about. Well, they derailed the fuck out of me. That's that's what they did. That's what they managed to do. Documents. Explorer's Tales. Ah. The Boy Who Cried Wolf. So Connor, 
I happened across an encampment belonging to the two adventurers. The scene was grisly. My thoughts were of highwaymen or war parties, but as I searched the area, the truth of their fates became clear. A fight broke out between them. Uh, between them, vicious one of the v vicious was his name. <laughs> one of the men drawing a blade and stabbing the other. Or maybe that was it. vicious. One of the men drawing a blade and stabbing the other. <laughs> then he set out for home, but he received justice of a kind before long, as he was attacked and killed by a wolf. Boy, cried wolf. The Sasquatch. Okay, Boone. Okay, tail takes. Kills out of traps too. Wretched. Yeah, he, so he says that at the thing. The fire. Uh, Connor, I found the beast Boone spoke of, covered in fur, head to be head to toe, whereas the tales of his wits and uh, and bent for theft are true. Those of him being a monster or not, he is just a man, a man who chooses chooses to live in solitude. As for the missing property, I might suggest being more careful. What? The haunted lighthouse. I went to the lighthouse and it was abandoned. Among the debris left by its previous occupants, I found nothing more than a scarecrow. There, uh, there are no spirits up there. None that must be feared at any rate. And the headless horseman. I found the headless horseman. The stories of his taking human heads are no fables, but he was a man. Well, I and I saw bodies with sacks over their heads, not missing heads. Um, and too bad I couldn't catch him. So I don't know if I'm missing something there. But alas, I don't know how to continue that one because I don't see anything on the map. So we're going to uh, move on, yeah, I guess. Jesus, a little bit of derailment there, but it had to happen. Newspaper unlocked. In the oh, I need, I wanted to go home. I want this dad. There's a lot of stuff I need to do. Okay, well, let's not go home yet. Uh, we're right here. <laughs> don't distract yourself. Focus. There's just so many, so many things I gotta see. That's all. Uh, how far away? 60. That's not bad. Oh, there's a store right there. I can change my clothes if I want to. Uh, are we going to have a problem? Are we going to have a problem? Oh, wait. No, no. This is like this is good. Oh, we're going to get into some fights right now. John Parker. Stand your ground, men! <coughs> Don't fire! Unless fired upon! Okay. But if they mean to have a war, let it begin here! <coughs> Take can. Disperse, Whoa. you damn rebels! Lay down your arms they and disperse! They would all just die, so... What are you what doing? What the deuce are you doing? Hold your positions! Cravens! Traitors! They are oh, not coming back. You will have to make do with those who remain. Don't you lecture me or not. Ah. Return fire! I'll go in. Return fire! You need to get to Concord and warn the others. I can I can kill them all though. Really Show it. this right. to whoever leads there. Should be a man by the name of James Barrett. Does he know Cloud? I'm sorry. Go on now! This is serious. <laughs> Do I get a horse? Come on, we'll I, I meet swear up to God, I can... Dude, I'm telling you, I can probably kill them all. But, okay. Uh, oh, sorry, there's a time. Travel to Concord. My, my, okay, we are now the... We're the mail people. Mail person, come on. Uh, Lexington, back. Bro, I'm gonna run you over if you don't move. Don't run, here. Done. Uh, oh, I can spur. Get moving, yeah. men! We've little time! Quickly, quickly. Come on, horsey. Do this. Travel to Concord. Uh, man, are they everywhere? Stick together, I mean, boys, and keep the gorilla pace. attack. Crazy in here, though. To Concord, lads. A circle. Pow, pow. Pow. Wow, what's really happening? Far away. This is cool, though. It's uh. Get out! Everyone, I mean, run! I mean, it's they're setting they're up a whole prisoners. Run! narrative here as you're running. It's pretty cool. They didn't have, they didn't have to animate all of this. They've taken my brother and poor old rubber. We need to do something. They're over there. Rescue civilian hostages. Well, I don't know what that is, but I suppose I missed it. Was I supposed to stop in town? See, now it just feels like I'm doing it on purpose, man. 
I just now have like I've just decided not to look at the bottom. <laughs> you know? But it's like, I don't know, it could have been cool. Oops. I thought it fell off. Blood's been spilled in Lexington, and there's more to come. The regulars are on the march. You don't say. And why do you think I'm men up here? Go home, or you get yourself killed. Have enough to worry about without some green boy looking to play at hero. Excuse me? I can vouch for him. John Parker as well. Where's Revere? Captured. What? Fear not. That man's no stranger to sticky situations. He'll be fine. I'm sure of it. <clears throat> Your ladies finished gossiping? Parker seems to believe you're not completely useless, so I suppose there's a thing or two you might be able to help with. When the fighting starts, we'll need to hold those positions there. They're critical to the defense of Concord. Good boys. Not used to soldier, and they need some with the experience to direct them. That's something you can do. You'd best be telling the truth. You have my word. Then I suppose all that's left to do is wait. Kill them all. Let's kill them all. I, um. Hold on. I'm gonna switch back that sword. Sir! Uh, that sword was pretty good. Man the barricades! No, no I'm okay. No! Try something else. Ensure my men hold those positions. If the Red Devils break through, we're finished. What would you have me do? Listen carefully. The Redcoats will form firing lines. Order the men to shoot just before the line is ready. Too soon and they'll miss their targets. Too late. And the enemy will open fire first. Understood. And if any of those bastards make it through, engage them. You must keep my men alive. I'm... what? So, kill regulars on day zero. Regulars defeat. Can I just get off the horse Wait for now? my signal! For real. Unless... I see, I see. Is it just before the fire? Fire! Right there. Something like that. Rescue civilian hostages. Fuck it. No. Oh. Wait, should I be going... Wait, is there another line? No, no, no. Is there? Th what are those guys dealing with right there? Um, should I push forward? A little, a little bit confused. Are you bringing more up here, or do I move forward? I'll learn about failing. Okay, let's learn about failing. Oh, I can't go forward. Okay. So we're just we're just hanging out. We're just hanging out. Oh, I see. Oh, shit. We are definitely moving the lines. Hold and fire. I see. Well then. Fire now. I probably failed there. Did I? I, I feel like I'm screwing something up here. Are there more? There are... Wait, no, there's just a... Sorry, bro. I'm sort of distracted right now by trying to figure out... Why am I on a horse? Get off the horse. Get off the horse. No, restart. Restart, 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 restart. restart. Get off the horse. Get off the horse. <laughs> I mean, it's cool. It looks like a cool visual. I get to ride the line back and forth on a horse. Tell you what, uh, please let me off the horse. No, you're not gonna let me Prepare off the horse. So nope, I can't. So we gotta do it this way. That's great. Okay. Um, this group over there, yes, or. Okay, let's go. Shoot! I see. Uh, okay, they'll give me a little bit of warning. Hold fire! I don't know if I'm seeing them. Open fire! I don't know, I'm just gonna shoot because I sort of can't see. <laughs> I, I can't see. But they're. Prepare yourself! They sort of look like they're bringing up their arms, I guess. Wait for my signal! Like, why don't I just shoot them now? I don't understand. Too late, too soon. What are you talking about? If like, they get in line, Open like, fire. Just fire, just kill them. Great. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like. They're approaching. Ready. Kill them. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, you're good. Hello? Shoot! Hey, I don't like being on the horse right now. 
Make ready. I hope they're here. Shoot! That feels right. Hello? I clicked like seconds before that. Wait for my signal. Wait, for you? No. Prepare you? yourselves. Wait. No, they're all dead. Oh god. Have I compromised a line? Have I compromised the line? I think I compromised the line. Wait for the signal. Pretty sure I compromised the line. Wait for the signal. Um. Open fire. I don't know. <laughs> Let's just go. These guys. Oh, Make these guys ready. are getting wrecked. Yeah, they just got shot. Oh, Wait I lose a couple. Wait for the signal. Shoot right now. Just shoot some. Shoot some. Take some out. Do it. Oh yeah, they're getting overloaded now. Wait, kill seven of seven. Oh, I gotta keep going with this. Oh, can I not just please? Oh, please. I just get me off the horse. I would have done this a lot faster. Prepare yourself. Open fire. Here, just take them down. Do I have more here. Oh, I just gotta do rows at this Prepare point. Prepare yourself. No, here. Open fire. Here, just go. That's fine. You'll kill some of them. Let's just keep going. Uh, those guys are getting shot at. Are you guys ready Hold yet? Fire. Go. Uh, can you just go again. Perfect. Let's kill a line of them if you don't mind. Oh, they'll Prepare take yourself. Right here. Fire. I'm sure they're ready. Just go. It's fine. You'll kill some. That's all that matters. Oh, you fire. guys. Are you ready? No, you're good. I'm <laughs> not. If there's no strategy. What am I supposed Wait to have a strategy? My sig Open fire. Yeah, right here. That's the signal. Go. I don't. <laughs> Make ready. Not sure if that was just all for dramatic, dramatic purposes. Prepare yourself. Shoot. Yeah, that's fine. That should do it. Or uh, if there was actually a strategy to it, but I can't really see it. Wait for my signal. Um, I don't Fire know. Now. Like right now, can I not just shoot them with them? See, they're gonna die anyway. So what's the point? Why am I? They're in the line, man. Just shoot them. You know. Wait for my signal. Here, I'm sure there's someone there. Go for it. There you go. Oh wait, we got some more here. We'll row them here. Prepare yourself. Fire! Perfect. Failed to protect targets. <sighs> you think it was simple? It'd be simpler if I wasn't on a horse. I don't know. What am I doing? I knew that. Okay, let's uh, for real this time. For real this time. You ready? For real this time. You all go. Bam. Uh, I guess we'll the horse. Alright. Make ready! And they have their Fire now! Let's go for it. Wait, there's one guy standing though. Why? Shit. Is that important? Wait for the signal! I'm sort of Hold I mean, fire! I'm just to tell them to shoot when they have their guns up, I guess. Is that the window? I don't know exactly what it's doing to maximize what now. They go like this, they put the gun Fire! on and then... Yeah, okay, well, it's not small. Maybe it is. <laughs> Maybe they do have a point. Wait for the signal! Maybe. Oh! Did I get it? Fire now! How did I not get shot at? Did I lose some? Oh, I'm definitely losing some. God damn. See what I mean? Like, I feel like I'm losing more now when I'm trying Make to, like, normal. <laughs> like, I'm normal Open when I'm doing right. Oh yeah, they get them. They got some shots off there. Regular defeated. Wait for my 41. signal. Okay, Prepare okay. yourself. Fire Let's now. Get rid of them because they're lining up too much. There's too many of them. Uh, anything this way? Yes. It's over there too. Hmm. This Hold side. fire. Oh yeah, they're getting wrecked on this side. Yeah. Hold fire. Open fire. Let's get those out of the way, please. Right here. Wait for my signal. Oh, those guys getting shot at? Yeah, they're gonna get shot at. Shoot! Yep, someone will get lost right there. 64. Awesome. Make ready! Shoot! Jeez, there's a lot of them here. Do I get how many do I get here? Like the whole row or no? Oh shit, these guys are getting wrecked. Okay, can I get them again? No, they're loading up. They're not, we're gonna lose them. We're gonna lose them. Wait for my shoot! Just just Come on, stress shooting at this point. Wait for the open fire. Stress shooting at this point. There's too many of them. Too many. Oh god, there's two freaking. Make over ready. Here. Oh, they're gonna start getting. Oh, I guess we're gonna lose. Wait for my open fire. <laughs> I 
this point, it really does. Okay, so my last plan Old fire. probably worked just fine. Uh, very quickly run back Old and forth. Fire. If open there's like fire. a group there, open fire. And just move to the next group. There's nothing on the bridge. Great. There's more Make people that are already positioned. We're going to lose some people. But as soon as I get over there, yourself. as fast go. as possible, go. That's the way it works. Get the bridge. These guys will be ready. Get Wait guys. for my signal. Go! You know, just go now. Just shoot them while they're coming because there'll be less of them shooting at you. Oh, uh, right fire! Here. Fire now! Great. Right. See if I can beat this. I got nine people left. Wait for my signal. When do I know this is over? Oh. See? Fall back! No problem. Fall back! Just rush it. Just rush it. What strategy? Lies. We did it! The turning tail! How many died though? How long? Can I chase him down? Uh, kill groups of regular. No, talk to James Barrett. No, okay, you can talk to James Barrett. Okay. Dude, are you running up ahead? I don't know if that's wise. I mean, so much loot. <laughs> this game never makes looting really worth it. I find that though, it doesn't. Um, it doesn't have so much like gear loot. I guess that comes out, but I haven't really tested that. But the other games used to just give you all the. Takes a true gear, monster you know, to do something and like this. Stuff. At least they're gone. I should have struck when I had the chance. Do you know where Pitcairn could have gone? Back into the withered bosom of the British, no doubt. So that he may regroup and plan his next atrocity. I need to find him. Every day I wait, more will suffer. Chin up, friend. Many who should have died today now live because of you. I mean, a lot and what of them? Because of bad we orders. We do the best we can with what we've got. It is not enough. There's like nine people mm. to feed out of 130, I think. It never is. Lexington and Concord. And from here. Oh, another newspaper with old language. Awesome. Diamond Basin. Basin. For the support of the glorious cause, I beg they will accept my most cordial thanks for this distinguished testimony of their approbation. But lest some unlucky event should happen, unfavorable to my reputation, I beg it may be remembered by every gentleman in the room that I, this day, declare with utmost sincerity I do not think myself equal to the command I am honored with. Truly, there as is no pay, man better sir, suited I to the task. Sir, I beg leave to assure really? the Congress that I as can no think of pecuniary several. consideration could have Charles prevented me Lee. to have accepted this arduous employment at the do expense I know of my you? domestic oh. ease I would not expect happiness. you to remember. <laughs> Come, Connor, there's someone I want you to problem. meet. I will keep an exact account of my expenses. I'm sorry to pull you away Those like that. I doubt not they the will last discharge, thing we need is and that is all I desire. To blows. Now, Connor, allow me to introduce you to our newly He's appointed giving a commander in chief, like, what are you George doing? Washington. Ah, so you're the one who saved Sam and John at Lexington. It was the Patriots who did that. I merely lent support. <laughs> As humble as he is brave, we could use more men like you. I'm sorry, but if you'll excuse me, I should attend to Charles over there. He looks none too happy about being passed over for command. It was good to meet you, Connor. Tell me you have news of Pitcairn. I'm told he's taken shelter in Boston, where he's guarded by a thousand redcoats. The only way you're gonna get at him is if we draw him out. Now, lucky for you, we're launching an offensive against the city in order to do just that. Israel Putnam has been given command of our forces. Present this to him and he'll provide whatever aid you require. You'll find him at the encampment on Bunker Hill. You have my thanks. No need. It's the least I could do. Pitcairn's a dangerous man. The sooner we're rid of him, the better. I would say the same of Charles Lee. Now that's an altogether different beast. Let us leave it for another day. Best you Let's head to Boston, that Connor. A little longer. To Act Three. 
I want to change my clothes. I the blue isn't really working for me. Okay. Who's talking? All right, keep it to yourself. Okay. Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Sure. Hello? Still here, are you? I was just wondering, what happens now? There's quite a lot to do. Commander Washington must determine when and where we'll strike next. And we need to get to work on our message. Message? We must contact the broadsheets at once. Ensure it's clear to everyone that it was the Loyalists who fired first in Lexington. But no one knows who fired first. Which is exactly why we must spread the news quickly. We are newspapers. We'll determine public opinion. Bam. This seems dishonest. Well, perhaps, but so what? People must believe we acted in self-defense, else we've committed treason. But you have. Oh, Better to bow and scrape before a tyrant, then? Is that what you suggest? No, of course not. No one should be denied freedom. And yet, to change the truth, it seems a dangerous road to travel. Understand, Connor. This is a war fought not just on the battlefield, but within hearts and minds as well. There's nothing wrong with a bit of theater, especially if it saves lives. Oh, man. I mean, it's almost like the set of America as being the, this, like, um, the, the, middle, the middle zone for Templars and Assassins. You know, where everything starts to get, starts to get muddy with perception and um, interpretation, right? I wonder if I'm stepped. Should I be here? I mean, they're not saying I can't be here. I can't. Pronunciation. Okay. That guy's taking a nap. Can I jump off this? No. All right, that should do it. Now we go. Wooden War Club. I thought I already had a Wooden War Club. I don't know, I feel like I just see things repeating all the time. So I gotta go home. There's a bunch of stuff that pop up. That's popped up in my gear, I'm sure of it. Um, let's see, Connor has assassinated that. Okay, do -do 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 she. And then we have to make a jump. Uh, I'll make a run for it, I think. Uh, can I get anywhere else on the way? No. Uh, let's do a hard line and see what happens. See if I will reset and die. Uh, bleh. We're fine. 